welcome to edu novas practical session of focal length of convex lens in our day to day life a convex lens is used for correcting the vision and it is also used as magnifying glass convex lens it is also known as converging lens it is thick in the middle and thin at edges the diameter of the circular edge of the lens is called aperture here ab is the aperture when a ray of light passing through a particular point on the principal axis goes undeviated this point is called optical center and this is represented by o first principal focus is a point on the principal axis of the lens when a ray diverging from it after refracting from the lens go parallel to the principal axis here f1 is the first principal focus second principal focus is a point on the principal axis of the lens when a incident ray parallel to the principal axis after refraction from the lens meet at this point here F2 is the second principal focus. The distance between the optical center O and one of the principal focus of the lens is called focal length. The aim of this experiment is to find the focal length of a convex lens by plotting graphs between U and V or between 1 by U and 1 by V. The apparatus required for this experiment are optical bench with 3 uprights convex lens two optical needles knitting needle and a half meter scale Before going to the experiment it is important to understand the typical setup of the optical bench to determine the focal length of the given convex lens so let us go through the setup of the optical bench and the procedure to perform this experiment consider a convex lens and mount it on the optical bench at a convenient position now place an object needle at 1.5 times the rough focal length of the given convex lens by adjusting the position of the object needle you will observe an inverted image of the object needle on the other side of the lens now we need to place the other needle on the optical bench and consider it as image needle adjust the position of the image needle until you find the image of the object needle on top of the image needle now the distance between the object needle and the convex lens is considered as u the distance between the image needle and the lens is considered as v here we need to obtain the image of a distant object on the screen when you look at the window you can see the tree which is a distant object face the lens towards a distant object and obtain its inverted image on the screen once you got the inverted image move the lens forward and backward until you get a sharp image now with the help of a scale measure the distance between the lens holder and the screen which is nothing but the rough focal length here it is 10 cm After finding the rough focal length of the lens fix the lens in the lens holder and then place the holder in one of the upright and mount the lens on the optical bench at a convenient position here the lens is placed at a position of 
100 cm mark on the optical bench. Now, fix the object needle in another upright and mount the object needle on the optical bench in such a way that the position of the object needle is beyond the focus of the lens. As rough focal length of the lens is 10 cm, we need to maintain a distance more than 10 cm between the lens and the object needle. Here, I am placing the object needle at a position of 85 cm mark on the bench. Now, to locate the inverted image of this object needle formed by the lens, we use another needle known as the image needle. Now, fix the image needle on another upright and mount the image needle on the optical bench so that the lens comes between the object needle and the image needle. Now, after placing all the uprights, we move to the right end of the optical bench to observe the inverted image of the object needle. Now, closing one eye, looking into the convex lens, adjust the positions of the uprights until an inverted image of the object needle fall on the image needle. Here, you can see clearly that the inverted image of the object needle over the image needle. Now, by giving lateral motion to the uprights, we bring the inverted image of the object needle and the image needle in the same vertical line. Here, you can see the inverted image of the object needle and the image needle in the same vertical line. After that, by adjusting the height of the image needle, we can coincide inverted image of the object needle with the tip of the image needle. Now, if we move our eye to the right and left, there is a relative shift between the inverted image of the object needle and the image needle. That means there is a parallax. To remove the parallax, we have to adjust the positions of the uprights until there is no relative shift between the inverted image of the object needle and the image needle. Here you can see clearly as I move my eye to the right and left there is no relative shift. That means parallax is removed. After removing the parallax we have to note down the position of the object needle, lens and the image needle.
The rough focal length of the convex lens used in this experiment is 10 cm. Table for determination of u, v and 1 by u, 1 by v. Observation table. Object needle O. In the first arrangement, when the object needle, convex lens and the image needle are placed on the optical bench, then the inverted image of the object needle without any parallax was formed on the tip of the image needle. Then the position of the upright containing the object needle is 95 cm. Convex lens is at a position of 111 cm. Image needle is at a position of 138.5 cm. OL is equal to U which is 111 minus 95 which is 16 cm. Observed distance V 138.5 minus 111 which is 27.5. Corrected distance U is equal to observed distance U plus index correction U. Index correction is equal to plus 0.3 cm. Therefore, corrected distance U is equal to 16 plus 0.3 cm which is 16.3 cm. Corrected distance V is equal to observed distance V plus index correction V. Index correction is equal to plus 0.3 cm. Therefore, corrected distance V is equal to 27.5 plus 0.3 cm which is 27.8 cm. 1 by U is equal to 0 0.0613. 1 by V is equal to 0 0.035. Similarly, the other observations are as follows. UV graph convex lens Using the values of U and V, we plot a graph by taking U on X axis and V on Y axis. We select a suitable scale. On X axis, 1 cm is equal to 5 cm. On Y axis, 1 cm is equal to 5 cm. Origin is 10, 10. Now, let us plot the points on the graph. Join all the points. As you can see, the graph comes out to be a rectangular hyperbola. Now, we draw a straight line from the origin making an angle of 45 degrees with both axes. This line meets the curve at a point A. Two perpendiculars are drawn from A onto X and Y axis. The X and Y coordinates of A are same. Therefore, U is equal to 21.25, V is equal to 21.25. Therefore, U is equal to V. In case of a convex lens, when the object is placed at 2F, the image is formed at 2F. Therefore, U is equal to V is equal to 2F. That is, AB is equal to AC is equal to 2F. Therefore, F is equal to AB by 2. That is 21.25 divided by 2. Therefore, F is equal to 10.625 cm. One by U, one by V graph, convex lens. Using the values of 1 by u and 1 by v, we plot a graph by taking 1 by u values on x axis and 1 by v values on y axis. We select a suitable scale. On x axis, 1 cm is equal to 0.01 per cm. On y axis, 1 cm is equal to 0.01 per cm. Origin is equal to 
zero point zero 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 point zero zero. Now, let us plot the points on the graph. Join all the points. As you can see, the graph comes out to be a straight line. The line cuts the both axes at an angle of 45 degrees, making equal intercepts OP and OQ. OP is equal to 0.092, OQ is equal to 0.092. According to the focal length formula, 1 by f is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u. At point P, 1 by v is equal to 0. Therefore, 1 by f is equal to 1 by u, which is f is equal to 1 by op. At point q, 1 by u is equal to 0. 1 by f is equal to 1 by v, which is f is equal to 1 by oq. Therefore, focal length f is equal to 1 by op is equal to 1 by oq, which is 1 by 0 0.092. Therefore, Focal length F is equal to 10.869 cm. Precautions Tips of the object and image needles should lie at the same height as the center of the lens. Parallax should be removed from tip to tip by keeping eye at a distance at least 30 cm away from the needle. The distance between Convex lens and object needle should be in such a way that only real and virtual image is formed. Index correction should be properly determined and must be applied for both U and V. Now you are able to determine the focal length of convex lens on your own without any doubt or hesitation. Thanks for watching this experiment.